This is Karim Bhatia. We're at the uh, Haney Abdullah press conference in New York City here with manager Egis Klimas. Man uh, Egis, you managed Sergey Kovalev in his big win against Anthony Yard. What, what was that win like for you? Obviously, Sergey had to get through some uh, tough rounds there to, uh, to make that win happen. That was a pretty good fight. Huh? That was a tough fight. Uh, yeah, we did, we did. He did very good. He did very well. Uh, actually got a little bit caught in the eighth round, but uh, knew how to behave and knew how to come back. And uh, experience against a youth showed, you know, who's a, who's a man that evening. He showed it was a man, so obviously the question is who is next? Everyone's talking about Canelo. Is that fight going to happen on November 2nd? It's in the works. I know for sure it's in the works. And hard, everybody's working hard to get that fight happen. Because I know fans are very like that fight. Your other fighter, Lomachenko, uh, one of your other fighters, I should say, had, a, had another big win against Luke Campbell. What do you think about Lomachenko's performance there? I think he did great. He did great. I think he brought a lot of Joe to London, to, to, to British fans who came and saw him alive in a O2 Arena. And let me tell you, man, the little kid coming from a, almost nowhere in the world, right, from a little, little, little town in, in Ukraine, comes, first of all, sells Madison Square Garden with Linares. Then he goes to uh, Los Angeles, sells Staples Center with uh, Krola, and then he goes to UK and sells O2 Arena three weeks before even the fight gonna start with a Campbell. What else can you ask? You, you really can. It's been remarkable what he's been able to do at his size, becoming the pound for pound top fighter in the sport. So the question is, what's next for Lomachenko? Who is he gonna fight next? Uh, probably we're going to be looking for um, Kami Lopez, or the winner of a Kami Lopez, and we're going to go after them. The winner of Richard Comey versus Teofimo Lopez. That would be a, a, an epic uh, super fight with Lomachenko. The other fighters on the roster, there's so many, Gavos, Dick Usyk, everyone. What do, what do you make of the, the rest of the roster? It's, it's very strong right now. Uh, don't forget we have uh, uh, Alexander Besputin fighting for the WBA world title under uh, Gvozdik better be a fight. Uh, we have, you know, youngsters coming. I have a couple guys from Kazakhstan. One of them is a Janibek, Kazakh style, very good fighter, great fighter. Meirim Nursultanov, 160 pounder. Um, Besputin, look, look you know, it's, it's Agis Kavalauskas. Hopefully, we're going to get Agis Kavalauskas with a Crawford in, in December. So it's endless. So your fighters are doing great things. I, I, just to close it out, it, uh, it's a little bit of a somber topic. Obviously, we've had boxer safety in the in the sport, and that personally uh, affected you as well in terms of uh, boxer safety. What what can we do in our sport to, to make it safer? Well, I think the guys who's going in the ring, they have to understand they're risking their lives, they're risking their their uh, health. I would suggest them to be very very serious about it. Very serious. Agus, thank you so much for the time. Best of luck to you and, and all the great work that, that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.